Can we hear what is not measurable? This sounds like a can of worms question to me. <laughs> Jaco from Rotterdam in the Netherlands writes to me and he says, Paul, I really enjoy your videos and the natural way you present it. Why, thank you, Jaco. I really hope to come one day uh, whenever I will visit the U.S. Well, I say this all the time and we surely mean it. Please do not come to Boulder and miss us. Come visit. Hey, we'll show you around. We'll show you a good time. No, seriously, come by. Listen to the IRS 5 system and see what we're all about. You're part of the Hi-Fi family and we love having visitors. So please do come by. We encourage it. Anyway, his question is, um, I've heard that someone say that if we're not able to measure any differences in audio, like differences in the parts used, like MOSFETs, tubes, dynamic speakers, compared to electrostatics, etc., we will also not be able to hear it. I start to believe that we really underestimate our ears and our hearing ability, so what do you think? Well, like a number of questions that we go through on this series, we've talked about this ad nauseum, and yet nothing really ever changes. People's opinions still, <laughs> we're, we don't change opinions, and that's the thing that's fascinating to me. I, you know, as I, as I get older, hopefully wiser, I start to learn that we're not going to change anyone's opinion. It's pretty rare. It's rare that my opinion changes, and it's rare that other people's opinion changes. I mean, most of us aren't looking for answers. To, we're not looking to have our opinions change. We're looking to have our opinions verified to uh, either this guy's a total nut job and he doesn't, doesn't you know, believe what I believe, or that um, I want to get support for my ideas, and this guy's talking about it. We're not really interested in learning new things and uh, ways of, of dealing with the world. And the older I get, the more I want to go in the opposite direction. The more I want to just sort of calmly present the facts as I see them and hope that the few people in the middle the ones who are questioning, saying, I, I don't, I kind of had that opinion, but I'm, I'm kind of searching over here to see if it's right. When you're at that cusp, that's the point where someone like me or your neighbor or whoever you're talking to can maybe have an impact. But otherwise, you know, to get somebody who cannot, Here's a great example. I used this the other day in one of my, I do this daily thing called Paul's Post where I write a post every day. And one of the things I brought up is imagine trying to convince somebody that the color blue is real and that person happens to be visually challenged. They can't see color. There's no amount of talking or jumping up and down that you could make <laughs> that's going to convince them that there's the color blue. Now, over time, if everybody they know from a hundred people say, oh yeah, yeah, that's blue, you betcha, this, you know, and, and that's, that, that's red, they're going to start going, well, you know, over time they're going to figure out, maybe I just can't see that. Fair enough. And, and maybe it's not a great analogy. But the point still remains. If your set of facts suggests one thing and you're convinced of that, then there's no, there's no going back to it. And so here's where the fallacy of this measurement business comes into, and I'll try my best. As an engineer, I believe that I can measure anything. I have seen it. I, I deal with it every day. We have, you know, test equipment that is capable of measuring all sorts of things. And we do. We measure all sorts of things and we find things out that we don't hear. That said, and, and, and knowing that this electronics and the test equipment we have is far superior to uh, our ears in discerning little small areas of distortion, 
Um, I, I mean, I, I don't think I can tell the difference between 0.2% distortion and 0.5% and distortion if, if it's just those two, uh, if that's all the variables that are changing. I don't think I can tell. This machine can tell down to a, a tenth of a percent, a hundredth of a percent. I'm not that accurate. So it's easy then to consider that I can measure everything when in fact that's total horse pucky. It just isn't true. And here's why. We can't measure everything because we don't know much of what's going on in our brain. Consider that, what's a, wow, I, I, I search for examples, you know, I, sorry. I write books. I love stories. I'm right in the middle of a, what I think is going to be just a killer novel. It's actually a trilogy. Um, and um, it's the the hero is Sam Sawyer, and it's it's they're 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 climate crusaders. And, oh, it's really cool. I mean, it's it's a neat book. It's like an Indiana Jones sort of book. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's a great story. Do we have machinery that can measure that, whether it's a great story or not? We know the elements of great story. We can train a machine to know that, but I doubt that we have a machine that can say this story is going to be a success and this story isn't. I don't know that we have that. Or this piece of art is going to be accepted and this one isn't. And that's because we don't know everything that's going on in our heads. When I listen to music on the IRS-5, when I, when I, I form a mental picture of a lot of stuff, how it interacts in the room, how the electronics are interacting with the signal, and that particular signal, how, how the, the cabling system, everything combined forms a picture in my head that is spatial, it is acoustic, it is dependent on my hearing, my mood, everything, just like eating. I mean, you know, mood changes a lot of stuff. That's because we are not machines. We are emotional creatures, and we don't know how to measure that. And music is an emotional experience. So the fact that I can measure static things, I can measure some things, great. I don't know how to measure the emotional response to music and with differing levels of equipment and performance. That we don't yet know how to measure. Can we someday? Probably. Now, not a chance. And that's why you'll never, ever get to that point, probably not within my lifetime, of being able to do that. So that's when people say, well, if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. Right. If I can't see blue, then it doesn't exist. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. That's best I got for today. Okay. Maybe we just made a little chink in the armor? Probably not. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>